Okay. Time for a replay. I am Fiddlesticks in the support position. Uh, we've got a pretty weird team to me. Uh, looks like now if I top and renekt in mid. Um, it's very bizarre. But that's fine. Um, and their team is, I don't know. It's not really that interesting, to be honest. Um, this bottom lane matchup, though, is... Uh, I actually don't know. Um, it seems like it would be pretty even, because we have a good amount of harass and, uh, and CC as well. If we fight, um, our damage is much lower than their damage. So as long as we you know, are in a fight, like a, an even fight, uh, with um, a little bit more health than them, then we can have a chance. I don't know what I'm doing there. That was a mistake. But we end up getting a kill out of it, which is nice. Um, the reason why that was a mistake is because I knew that Morgana still hadn't used uh, the shield. I hadn't seen that Morgana had skilled her W. So I I need to wait for that until I, you know, because Aphelios was out of position, but I just couldn't CC him. So it, uh, wow, it, uh, it, it just, it didn't make sense for that reason. What, what happened here? Oh, yes, yeah, so it's just like no health. <laughs> I guess it was like 10% health. Against Renekton, who can one shot him. Oh, okay, maybe not one shot. Oh, Renekton messed that up. Okay, that's why Renekton died. Renekton shouldn't have died there. That was actually good for Yasuo. Yasuo could have flashed away, but I think that was a good choice. Every game I play now has a fight over a crab and someone dies <laughs> like every single game i swear um that was pretty good though and echo gets away that's pretty nice he doesn't get the crab though which um that's really what the whole point of that is this is a terrible place to recall why would you recall there Echo deserves to die there. That was so stupid. Why would you recall here? Just recall in the bush. There's no there's there's no reason to recall in this in this space at any point in the game. Unless it's like a really specific situation where you just have to recall really quickly. Man, I mean, seriously, and you knew that Darius was over there? Man, that was just... I don't even know what to say about that. Um, okay, so anyways, um, let's fast forward a little bit here. Seems like there's much going on. Uh, Echo tries to gank, it doesn't work. Um, let's see. Darius is pretty much... Well, I guess he's not that far ahead of Malphite. Oh wait, am I looking at this correctly? No, I'm not. Okay, so yeah, so Darius is pretty much very far ahead of Malphite. Um, oh, a dive happens. Okay, what, what happens here? Okay, so they're pretty low. That makes sense. Um, Echo's nearby. I, may, maybe this can work, I don't know. We're going to have to play very well and juggle the aggro. Oh, we didn't juggle the aggro. I could have gotten away there. I think. 
if if I would have had a stopwatch before that happened, I just bought one. But um, if I would have had a stopwatch before that, that would have been no problem. But we just didn't juggle the aggro correctly. Yeah, so it was just like, wow. Okay, so this is what I don't understand about this situation. Let me go back a little bit. So Yasuo's level 5, and he's got pretty much no health. I mean, he's not really going to be do, doing any damage if any kind of a fight breaks out, right? Um, Renekton, meanwhile, is nearly full health, and still, I believe, has his ultimate. Yep, he still has his ult. So Yasuo should know that Renekton has his ult, uh, and can just annihilate him. The problem, the main problem that I see here is Yasuo has no way to CC Renekton, and Renekton can instantly stun uh, Yasuo. So this is like, I mean, there's absolutely n nothing about this situation that makes it uh, worth getting into a fight for the blue side here. Like, there's just no... Yasuo's not even level 6. So it's just it's just really bad. It doesn't make sense. And Renekton's level six, right? And Jin Zhao's level four. That's crazy. And Renekton gets level seven. Um uh, kind of when this all starts. So if you think about it, level four plus five is nine. They're only two levels ahead of one person with two people. <laughs> uh, and it doesn't even really end up, um, it doesn't even really end up like adding up like that. Uh, but it's just an interesting thing. So yeah, this is just like a really bad idea. I mean, Renekton is one of those champions that can definitely one verse two, like very easily. He's building damage. So he's going to have damage. Again, he still ha if he doesn't have his ult, I can maybe see them making something happening. But even then, they would have to play very, very carefully. Yasuo doesn't even have Ignite. So like all these things I feel like nobody thought of, nobody took them into account. And they're just like, you know what? We're just going to go and uh, die one or two versus one. So yeah, I just don't understand. I don't understand. So Yasuo does get level six. But he already used his uh, wind energy thing before he was level 6, so he can't ult. So this actually could work if Yasuo ults. Um, but he doesn't. He gets stunned, like I was saying before. And, uh, yep, that's about it. So yeah, any, anyways, uh, it's just, just kind of bizarre decision making there. Um, so this is an interesting situation. I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. So Echo and Ash are bottom lane. I am top, presumably because I saw that action happening. Um, Echo gets caught with a Morgana Q and... Okay, maybe he gets away. Okay, they see me coming and they decide to engage. Echo gets a stun on Morgana. Which I don't think is very helpful. Um, he needed to get rid of that shield on Aphelios, is what he needed to do. So this is kind of strange to me, because I'm committing here, and they're just running away, and they're, they're, nobody's in any danger. I get I get Echo leaving because Echo has no mana, but he, he has enough for one spell. Um, so... And Ash can auto attack, so that's not. Ash can just. Ash has. There's nothing that can happen to Ash <laughs> right now. Ash can just hit Morgana, and no, and nothing can get to Ash. But Ash leaves, so we're not on the same page. And I'm trying to get after Aphelios because we could definitely get Aphelios, like 100 percent. They're not going to be able to like stun me or anything with all these minions. And th they're still running away. They're still running away. They just leave me. 
And then, and then at, it's just like, I don't understand. The, I don't think they knew that Jin Zhao was coming. But even even so, if we eliminate one or both of them, what what is Jin Zhao going to do? Nothing. Because I just fear him and we walk away. So just I just feel like that situation was like a matter of just play the game. Like, you just play. <laughs> I don't understand. People are so afraid to just play the game. Um... But, you know, not everybody is uh, thinking about these things or aware of these things. And then Ash, you know, stays too long, has to end up using her flash. We do get Aphelios for it, so I guess that's worth something. But, like, none of that needed to happen. That was all very... That was all very unnecessary. Um, okay, so what else is going on? So... Got the crab. Renekton is... I mean, what is it? What can Yasuo really do? Yasuo can't really do anything. Uh, I'm not level six yet, so it doesn't matter if I stay there. Um, oh, it would have been nice if that Ash arrow hit, but I don't think it was strictly speaking necessary. Um. Oh, Yasuo healed. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta slow this down. So, um, okay. First things first. I'm pretty sure that I missed. Oh no, I did fear him. Okay. So, I, I feared, I, I feared Jin Zhao. That's about all I can do. I guess I could have silenced him as well. Let me see if my silence is up. My silence. Oh, my silence isn't up. I already silenced him to keep him from jumping on top of me. So Renekton's 100% dead. There's nothing I can do. Although it, it does seem like my fear is up again. But I did just use it, so I, I don't know if that's like a graphical thing. But so yeah, so he got healed by his triumph. So he was one auto attack away from dying. Um, but he healed, which is unfortunate. So there's no way I have my fear, because if I really do, I would use it here, right? Yeah, I would I would definitely use it if I have it. Um, See, so yeah, it, mu it must have been on cooldown. But um, yeah, that that situation probably could have gone out a lot better for us. <laughs> Echo just dies uh, straight up to Darius. Uh, Ash is by herself. She uh, doesn't really understand what uh, she's doing. Dies under the turret. Um, which I I, I, I get because Aphilios is still a new champion, so I understand. Okay, I died somehow. I don't know how I died there. Hold on, go back. Let me see. A little bit further. So... Oh, I just got Morgana queued. Okay, that's simple. <laughs> Morgana is one of those champions, like, if she hits her Q, and there's any kind of damage at all, you're going to die. Okay, this is just getting ridiculous. Renekton is getting out of hand. Um... Yasuo is just not a good player. This is a conclusion that I've come to. Um, Xin Zhao, I don't know. Oh, he's going after Ash. Um, yes, I feel like this game's pretty much over right now, unless something happens to get the blue team back in the game. This might be something. So, we have a ward, though. Um, so this is kind of confusing to me, because... We we see them do this for a long time. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this in. Uh... So this is when the dragon starts, and so they're fighting, which makes sense. So, but now, in this moment, they're not fighting. So now, in my mind, they should just be immediately coming to dragon because what else is more important in this moment? I mean, 
maybe you could argue getting the Rift Herald, but I don't think that just letting them get the dragon is worth it. Meanwhile, we can see them. Like, we have full... Hold on. Uh, we have full vision of them. Like, they know. All they have to do is look at the pit. They can see Jin Zhao's icon on the map. So, I don't really understand why they don't immediately come over here. Um, they're just like, oh, well, I guess Dragon's gone. <laughs> Nothing we can do, and Echo starts walking top. And I'm like, what are you doing? Why would you go, why would you start going top? Renekton has Darius pushed in. There's nothing you're going to do except dive Darius, which does nothing in this situation. I don't understand. I'm seriously, I'm, I'm seriously confused. What the fuck is Echo thinking? What the fuck is Malphite thinking? What the fuck are you doing? Oh yeah, let's clear this pink ward instead of getting dragon. While one person's doing it. This is the stupidest shit I've ever seen. What the hell? And it's not like no one's pinging it. I'm pinging it. What are you doing? How much time, almost enough time, to give Jin Zhao the ability to finish Dragon? What in the fuck is this shit? Seriously? Holy God. Anyways, I try to go in to try to mess up uh, Jinjao's smite and maybe try to finish it off. I failed at doing that. I don't believe I had my... Oh, I did have my ult. Maybe ulting in would have been better. Um, so then they rotate way too late. Um, we just give up the dragon. I mean, we are ahead, so I understand the sort of... Uh you know, mindless attitude of, like, I can just do whatever and it doesn't matter anymore. But we're not that far ahead. Um, but e e either way, I mean, that's just, like... I don't even know what to say about that, to be honest with you. That is just, like... You, you want to know why there's different uh, tier levels in this game of ranks? That's why. That situation is exactly why. <laughs> There, the players have to be separated so judiciously. So, I almost get Yasuo there. Um, he is two levels ahead of me, it looks like. So, um, I was counting on the turret to help me a little bit more there. But, you, you know, what can you do? Ash dies again. <laughs> Ash dies again. Standing under the turret. It looks like I might die here, to be honest. Yeah, I die. There's something I can do here. So I die because I'm stupid like Ash. I uh, I think there, I didn't think that they would uh, kill the turret so fast, but they did. Um, And let's see. Unless we throw our lead, I, I really don't see us losing this game. Uh, that was an interesting dive. Okay, that that was a lot of things that just happened. I'm going to slow this down. and see what exactly took place. So, this is kind of a long fight. So, nothing's going on. Oops, I have the Fog of War. There we go. Um, okay, so they go after... Whoa! They go after Yasuo. Renekton misses his stun. Which I didn't think was possible if you flash on someone, but apparently it is possible. Darius is coming in. Renekton is like, uh, is that like four or five turret shots now? I'm not sure. I come in. I take the aggro, which is helpful for them, but I die instantly because I don't have my Zanyas up. Uh, Malphite goes in and dies as well. So, basically, that was one of the worst tower dives I've ever seen in my whole life. There was no focus at all, and there was everybody winning one at a time. That was seriously the worst tower dive <laughs> I've ever seen. Um, Echo goes in. He does finish Darius off. 
Uh, Ash is getting soloed by Morgana. Um, Ash gets soloed by Morgana. That's, Morgana's the only person that damaged that. <laughs> Ash is so terrible. Um, and then they clean us up. So this is what I was talking about. Okay, so they, we, we threw now. We threw the game. Now they have the ability to win this game. And it's not even like a, you know, uh, a small possibility. It's a very, very large one. Looks like they're going to get this tower as well. So we are now even in gold, essentially. Um, which is pretty crazy. Think about it. Um... Got the Rift Herald, that's nice, I guess. Dragging those is going to be our focus. Oh, wow. What happened here? So, Renekton bought a stopwatch for this exact situation. So there's three people here, and we know that they're here. Um, I think. Well, maybe we don't. Um, I think he saw two people before. So we know that at least two people are there. Um, they don't really know where anybody is. I mean, they know where three of us are. So, yeah, the other two people could be anywhere. Um, so I think this is really good. This this is really good play by Renekton. So he's like, oh, three people going to focus me? If my team reacts, this is going to be amazing. So they blow a ton of abilities and stuff on him. Gets a stun off. He actually kills someone. He eliminates Aphilios, which is really great. Echo comes in with the stun. <laughs> Ash Arrow to insult them. And that's it. I mean, what else can you do? Um, I'm not really sure if I agree with Malphite using his flash and his ult in a situation like that, but hey, what whatever floats your boat, you're playing Malphite, that's pretty much all you can do anyways, and, uh, you know, you might as well. So that was, like, maybe one of the worst things that could have happened for their team, like, and, and it's unfortunate because they had just come back into the game. They, it was even gold. They had spent their gold. Um, so, you know, it was re it was really not about like uh, us being really far ahead or anything. We just played better. Uh, specifically, Renekton played better. Um, and then we followed up on Renekton's good play. So really the only... Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened here? This is This is not good. Okay, so I'm waiting back here, and I think that Ash is kind of baiting them, but Ash cannot get queued. <laughs> like, there's no, there's no, even if you're trying to bait them, there's no reason to get hard CC because um, if Echo has his other gun, he can just root you again, and you get rooted for like, I don't even know how many seconds. Like, it's seriously a lot. So. Um, this, I, I try to alt in and make something happen, but Ash isn't even, like, auto-attacking. Ash is just running away. Ash did no damage there. At all. So, uh, me coming in here is not really going to help. Um, you know, it was just a thing of, like, Ash got caught out. Ash even had a fucking Quicksilver Sash. So I don't I don't really know what happened there. I don't really care. Um, you know, at a certain point, like, you can pick apart people's play, but people are gonna just screw up and make bad plays, and they're not even gonna know that they are doing it. And so it's just kind of like, um, whatever, dude, I'm moving on. Um... 
this is an interesting situation. This is the same situation that happened before. I'm kind of surprised that they decide, the blue team, uh, decide to go in on Renekton here because this is exactly what happened down here. Um, this is ex ex exactly how the fight started. Three people pile onto Renekton and then everybody else follows up. Echo's not really that far away. So, um, and they don't know where anybody is. For all they know, we the, everybody could be here, you know, or <laughs> or here, um, depending on if they were there before these minions came. So, uh, I'm I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure on their decision making process. Maybe they just want to get rid of Renekton because they're frustrated, which just seems like is the most likely thing. Um, but anyway, so I'm like, okay, I'll probably just alt in here, right? I mean, I should alt in here. Uh, it looks like I'm trying to make up my mind about what I want to do. But I'm like, you know, let's screw it. Five A five-man fiddle alt? I don't even care if no one dies. I just want to do it. So, um... I try to get up to them. I don't have flash, which is unfortunate. I should have ulted a little bit further into them. That's a very nice ash arrow. Um, which Yasuo, Yasuo gets rid of. Um, I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen here. So uh, Echo and Renekton flash in. I'm cool with this. Uh, Darius just being on top of me because then it, that means it saves his AoE damage from being in the real fight. And also gives them time to clean things up. Man, Echo's a really strong champion. It's kind of crazy. So I'm yeah, I'm definitely okay in that situation with me kind of taking one for the team if we ace them. Um, we, uh, I guess we can't really truly end the game. We don't have minions uh, down here. Um, but getting Baron uncontested is pretty nice. Um, you know, gold and... Uh, empowered minions is, is very good. Uh, and enhanced recall is very good as well. So yeah, I feel like I'm just watching... Um, yeah, I'm waiting for this to happen. Uh, they are just way too far out. Um, I kind of don't blame the uh, blue team here. I mean... You can tell that they already gave up by the way that they were playing. Because what what possible reason could you have being in mid lane up here when the enemy team has Baron? Like, you are not in the position to be kind of like aggressively dictating the way the game is going, and that's what you're doing when you're in the mid lane like that. Um... And we have a bunch of champions who can catch you out. I have my ult as Fiddlesticks. Malphite has his ult. Renekton can jump into you. So yeah, we can definitely just dive them and, and end the game. Um, yeah, so overall, I think um, this was this was an interesting one. Um, I think the scores on Echo and Renekton sort of lie uh, a little bit about what happened because they still played pretty poorly in certain situations. They kind of gave up, um, you know, they gave up their advantage in certain situations against a better team. There's a very high chance that, uh, the blue team would have won, the enemy team would have won, um, but because I, I I and I do think just from playing this game and then watching it again, um, I do think that probably we were the better team this game. But um, uh, there there were still spaces uh, for them to come back. Uh, I think the biggest thing that I learned from this game was. Um, and this is more of a, a lower 
skill level thing, I think, is to not is to identify early the kind of person that I'm playing with in the bottom lane because Ash died so many times by herself, I lost count. Um, and some people require more babysitting than others. Um, I do think that it is good to get advantages in other places in the map, especially as support, especially being a support like Fiddlesticks, who relies on... Um, making plays happen versus reacting to them. I have to be very proactive um, in what I do. Uh, otherwise, I just end up not doing anything on Fiddlesticks. Um, so, but I think that, or maybe just some communication with Ash and being like, hey, like, I'm roaming, you know, don't play the same way that you would. I don't know if there was a whole lot of things that I could have done outside of just holding Ash's hand the whole game to prevent that. I think at a certain point you have to understand, and I, I play AD carry as well in bottom lane position. I think at a certain point you have to understand that your support is not always going to be there. Even in the laning phase, you're going to have to be able to like understand what to do on your own. Um, yes, it's a team game, but there also is an individual side to it. And, um, yeah, I think also I learned that uh, to pick your fights uh, more carefully, I think because we were ahead, we were taking fights that were not that good, like especially the dive here in mid, where we got uh, basically triple KO'd for nothing. I think that was a situation where nobody would have really felt like that was even possible if we weren't ahead, and so nobody really thought about it. They just thought, and I did as well, like, well, we might as well. Um, I was more reacting to them. I mean, Renekton had already taken, like, four or five turret shots by the time I joined that, but um, I think just uh, what I'm getting at is um, learning when to to say, yes, I can do something here, but I'm not going to because I'll get a bigger advantage doing something else. Um, you know, like, for instance, pushing them away from the turret in that situation and then just getting the turret. I mean, that, to me, is, like, really great, and then there's nothing they can do about that. Pushing the next wave and then making it so they can't even damage our turret. I don't know. Like, to me, that seems like a better decision. Um... So yeah, things like that, uh, reacting to stuff that's happening on the map is another thing that I learned. Um, that's really what kept the blue team in the game, is our lack of reaction time. Um, but also, our reaction time won us some fights, so it was just in inconsistent, that's all. Um, yeah, and uh, don't randomly be in places where, uh, this is what I learned from the blue team, don't don't be in places where the enemy team can take advantage of you from the fog of war. I think that's basically like the first lesson you should learn in this game, um, is to respect, um, you know, respect the enemy team when you don't know where everybody is. Um, that's like the number one thing that will turn a fight 180 degrees in the uh, enemy team's favor, even if you have an advantage to start it off. Um, so yeah, a lot of, a lot of basic things. And, uh, you know, I definitely could have played better. I made a lot of mistakes, uh, with that dive and then bottom lane as well. Just my positioning, um, some of that is, you know, I do expect that my lane partner will, you know, who whose only sole purpose is to do damage is going to do damage. But at a certain point, I have to also understand, like, um, you know, my play as well and what I'm doing and um, to try to create situations where uh, it makes sense for them to do that damage. Um, 
but yeah, uh, I thought this was a pretty interesting one. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think I have uh, anything else to uh, to say about that one. So I hope uh, anybody who's watching this enjoys it. Um, hopefully you learned something as well. And um, hopefully you will uh, um, get something out of uh, any other games that you uh, see me play or review. Um, yeah. I'll go and do that right now. <laughs>